Hello sports fans and welcome to Thunder Weekly slash college football playoff finals. I'm Rick Heath with you today and now joining us, Jeremy Thurman of McIntyre Law Firm. Jeremy, thank you. Thank you, part of you. You bet. Now, you and I were both, and Noble, and Noble McIntyre, by the way, who's generally with us, not feeling well today, so Noble will get better. Um, but last night, the college football playoff championship game was played, and Alabama not only got beat, they got embarrassed by Clemson, Clemson national champion. Absolutely. Incredible game. Scary for what the future holds for Clemson. That Trevor Lawrence, man, he was incredible. incredible. He is. He is. I mean, he, he looked, you know, after the first quarter, he settled down. Yeah. And he, he looked he looked very, very poised. He's got a great arm. He's got great pocket presence. Uh, he stepped up into some throws that, I mean, you know, you can't teach that. I mean, no. that's just natural ability. And, and how about Brent Venable's defense? I mean, they did a good job against Alabama. Kept them off, off, off the... Uh, off their game most of the night. I, I want to write Brent Venables a, an apology letter and invite him back to Oklahoma at any time. I mean, come on. <laughs> he might come back and visit. Yeah. He's not coming back. I mean, yeah. you know. But uh, you know, you and I were talking before we started taping here. You know, so that you know, SEC bias is very, yeah. very real. So that makes Georgia's number one. Georgia's thing. number one. <laughs> Uh, Clemson, well, Alabama may be number two still. It's a close, like close, close, close three. Yeah, yeah, close three. Absolutely. Maybe uh, not, as, not as close as Clemson. Yeah, LSU, <laughs> Florida, and, you know, we, we just... They'll fill out the top, top five. Yeah, yeah, there you go. But, yeah, it wasn't it good for college football that Clemson wins? Not only did they beat Alabama, which was the big, you know, the big name and all that, the invincible, um, but they made them look bad. Yeah, and as an OU fan, I like seeing the points put up on the board. You know, this vaunted Alabama SEC, we play better defense. Well, no, man, they, they keep giving up uh, 31 here or 40 there. I mean, it, these offenses are incredible right now. Well, you know, and a good offense, it just shows a good offense. Yes. It's going to score. In today's age, yes. Yeah, it's going to score. And, and there's, you know, they were, the Big 12 has been ridiculed for their lack of defense. Well, they don't get enough credit for their offensive yes. balance. Yes, yes. You know, yes. and that's, that was always my argument for OU in the college football playoff is, I mean, hey, when you see somebody like Michigan, Notre Dame, it has no offense. You know, I mean, they can't score. I mean, the name of the game is how many points can you score? OU can score, Clemson can score, Alabama can score. That's the kind of uh, new age football in college you're going to see this from now forward. Yeah, when you're, you're playing teams that run in the practical veer, you're going to stop them. Yeah. You're going to stop them. And so your stats are going to be better, but the Big 12 has been innovative. And that's, that's why we have some You know, and, and, with, and with, uh, with that, I mean, last night Trevor Lawrence showed that, you know, with great receivers, you can make things happen. They had a good running attack. Now, granted, they still played good defense. Yes. Clemson did. Alabama, to a certain extent, still got a pretty good defense. You know, and that's what, if you're an Oklahoma fan, you got to hope that, uh, you know, the new defensive yeah. coordinator comes in and puts – puts a new system in place where it's an attacking defense and you know they show a little bit more improvement. But right now the college world is set right, Alabama got beat. Yeah, absolutely. And then we're all happy about that. Hey, if you're looking for concert tickets or thunder tickets, you need to go to OklahomaTickets.com on the web or you can give them a call at 364-7500. They got great single game tickets for the Thunder or they've got season tickets for the rest of the year. All available at OklahomaTickets.com. Give them a call 364-7500. Or if you're looking for concert tickets, they have the best in the land at OklahomaTickets.com. We'll be back with Thunder Thornton, Jeremy Thornton and me with Thunder Weekly right after this. If your New Year's resolution is to look and feel better this coming year, Dr. Victoria Johnson at Laser Light Skin Clinic offers specific treatments to noticeably improve your appearance and self-esteem. Call Laser Light today to schedule your free consultation. I'm Attorney Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law. Over the past 20 years, we have fought for Oklahomans who have been injured by medical malpractice and medical device injuries. These injuries are caused by products including defective hip implants, transvaginal mesh implants, Zofran, Zoralto, Invocana, and IVC filters. Unfortunately, these type of injuries happen every day, and it's good to have a local expert to turn to for help. On behalf of myself and the entire McIntyre Law team, I can assure you, no one will work harder than we will. Maddie McMillan's Irish Pub now open at 150th and Penn, featuring traditional Irish favorites and a, with a modern twist. Maddie's is a pub-inspired eatery 
features nearly 30 Irish and American whiskeys and scotches, as well as beers, cocktails like the Guinness Float Ice Cream and Guinness, or Eden's Apple Hard Cider and Guinness. Matty McMillan's host kegs and eggs brunch every Saturday and Sunday and is sure to be the perfect hangover cure. The brunch features omelet bar, Bloody Mary station, along with $2 mimosas and $13 mimosas carafes. Grab your friends and hang out at Marty McMillan's on 150th and North Penn. Come in, Sam. It's Jack Elliott. Do you read me over? Hey, guys. I'm up here with BK. We've got your wings. Right on time. I hope you brought us some sauce, too. We've got seven kinds of sauces, Sam. We've got sweet chili, hickory bourbon, barbecue. Great wings don't just fall from the sky. They come from Louis, where we're preparing food fresh daily. Garlic parmesan, ghost pepper. Drop them whenever you're ready. People love them with our world-famous burgers and pizzas. Okay, stand by for a drop-off. Over. At Louis, we're in your neighborhood. And welcome back, Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath and Jeremy Thunder Thurman here. Representing the McIntyre Law Firm, yeah. uh, Noble is not with us today. He's not feeling very well, but um, you know, talking about the Thunder, Jeremy, and I call you Thunder Thurman because you love the Thunder. Yeah. I mean, not only do you know college football, but you love the Thunder, the NBA. So we're going to lean on that expertise today. Um, the Thunder came out of last week with one of their best games of the year, and arguably their worst game of the year. Yeah, it's the NBA. It's an 82 game schedule and. I think the high of winning in Portland, I think for the first time since 2014, uh, all the travel, the road games they've had, I think it took a toll and they just laid an egg at home. It happens. Well, you know, and you can't deny the fact that they knew Washington had been playing. Right? Absolutely. They, they, and they, John Wall was out, you know, and so they just go, oh, you know, it's Washington without Wall, you know, and, and mentally not, I mean, not. They didn't do it on purpose, but, I mean, they had a letdown mentally, you know? Hey, you, you look throughout the NBA, I saw a stat the other day that every NBA team but the Thunder, I believe, has lost by at least 20 points to another NBA team. And so it just happens. It happens. And with the schedule and the way things have been going, it, it wasn't surprising. It was a trap game. Let's, let's talk about the positives. In Portland, the Thunder played like they need to play. Yeah. Billy Donovan wants them to play. Yeah. Uh, they, they, the defense was incredible. Terrence Ferguson, I can't rave enough about him. And I was really down on him at the first of the year, but his defense on McCollum was just incredible. Um, I just thought it was a team effort. Um, you know, Westbrook played well. Um, Westbrook yeah. played smart. He did. Okay, so that is not his forte. No. I'm sorry, I'm a Westbrook fan, but playing smart is not his forte because on the Washington game, I tweeted out, Russell Westbrook has proven to me he has he's tone deaf on the pace and flow of a game. And by that I mean when he's out of control and he he has no idea what the clock is, what what should, what you should do, he just pall pell mell ahead. And that's bad Russ. Yeah. The good Russ is what we saw in Portland where he's measured. He knows what he's doing. He's getting everybody involved. He's hitting his mid-range jumper. He's not taking ugly threes, and he's pushing the ball when it needs to be pushed. I think we're seeing this this maturation of Russell Westbrook this year, and you're seeing it in a lot of the ebb and flowing games, and that he's for the first time playing as a true point guard. Um, he's feeling. Let's the ball. Whoa, 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 back, back up, back up. Let's not get not carried. Perfect. Let's don't get carried away here, Thunder <laughs> Thurman. I know you're a Thunder fan. Uh, I mean, he's shown. Yeah, that he ability. Can. Yeah, yeah. But then yeah. you go back like Washington. Yes. It was so butt ugly. No, 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 no. In those games, you see him measured. You see yeah. him finding Paul George when he's hot. You see him finding Stephen Adams. And those are things that, in the past, George could be hot, but in the fourth quarter, Russell's taking the ball. So those things. That part, yes. I, you're right. Yes. That part, I, I, I like about Russell. He's, he's, he's delegating yes. in the fourth quarter. I mean, in the first big part, I mean, the first big game of the first part of the season, there was a chance when, when Paul George hit the three to win. Yep. Yep. Okay. So my tweet was, okay, will Russ give up the ball? Yep. That was the question because he never had before. He trusted Paul George. He got him in the shot. Paul George hits the shot. Different thing. Paul George is now playing not only all-star level, He's in, a, he's in the MVP race. Uh, this is the best. I've seen a two-way player play in a long time. His shooting is incredible. His defense, if you watch him and Steven Adams right now, it's an art form. It's yeah. an art form on defense. The moving, the ability of a 6'9 forward to guard 
Damian Lillard the other night. It was just incredible. Well, he leads he leads uh, in deflections. Yes. He leads the NBA in deflections. That's that's his length. He also he, he also uh, has great on ball defender like yes. you said, and he can guard anyone from a four to a one. You know, and do it well. And so that allows Stephen Adams to play his man head up because he's not having to worry about that guy getting getting by and coming to the rim. Uh, now, Russ, on the other hand, plays – he's indifferent to yep. defense, okay? That's the best we can say. He's just indifferent. His effort's a little bit better this year. I mean, I think his focus is a little bit better on the defensive end on certain opponents. Yeah. You saw it the other night in Portland because he yeah. wanted to win that game. Yeah. yeah. Washington, yeah. not so well. well. Washington, I mean, he, he stayed – he just watched people walk past him and run past him. So, yeah. you know, that's an indifference, the best we yes. can say about Russell's defense. Yeah. But we'll talk more about the Thunder here on Thunder Weekly. Rick Keith, Jeremy Thurman here from Noble McIntyre Law Firm. We'll be right back after this. I'm attorney Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law. Over the past 20 years, we have fought for Oklahomans who have been injured by medical malpractice and medical device injuries. These injuries are caused by products including defective hip implants, transvaginal mesh implants, Zofran, Zeralto, Invocana, and IVC filters. Unfortunately, these type of injuries happen every day, and it's good to have a local expert to turn to for help. On behalf of myself and the entire McIntyre Law team, I can assure you, no one will work harder than we will. And let me tell you about a new sponsor that we have here at the OU Football Preview Show, and that is Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center with over 10 locations throughout the state. Locations in Moore, Prague, Purcell, Holdenville, Seminole, Durant, Ada, Midwest City, Weatherford, Pauls Valley, and Norman. And they have six orthopedic surgeons and one podiatrist. They have in-house physical therapy and one of the largest open MRIs in the state. So if you're needing work with orthopedics, then you need to call Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center in Norman and find out the nearest location to you and let one of their expert orthopedic surgeons take care of your problem the right way the first time. That's Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center, 10 locations throughout the state, including in Norman. If your New Year's resolution is to look and feel better this coming year, Dr. Victoria Johnson at Laser Light Skin Clinic offers specific treatments to noticeably improve your appearance and self-esteem. Call Laser Light today to schedule your free consultation. I'm Attorney Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law. Over the past 20 years, we have fought for Oklahomans who have been injured by medical malpractice and medical device injuries. These injuries are caused by products including defective hip implants, transvaginal mesh implants, Zofran, Zeralto, Invocana, and IVC filters. Unfortunately, these type of injuries happen every day, and it's good to have a local expert to turn to for help. On behalf of myself and the entire McIntyre Law team, I can assure you, no one will work harder than we will. Maddie McMillan's Irish Pub now open at 150th and Penn, featuring traditional Irish favorites and a, with a modern twist. Maddie's is a pub-inspired eatery, features nearly 30 Irish and American whiskeys and scotches, as well as beers, cocktails like the Guinness Float Ice Cream and Guinness, or Eden's Apple Hard Cider and Guinness. Maddie McMillan's hosts kegs and eggs brunch every Saturday and Sunday and is sure to be the perfect hangover cure. The brunch features omelet bar, Bloody Mary station, along with $2 mimosas and $13 mimosas carafes. Grab your friends and hang out at Marty McMillan's on 150th and North Penn. Come in, Sam, it's Jack Elliott. Do you read me over? Hey, guys. I'm up here with PK. We've got your wings. Right on time. I hope you brought us some sauce, too. We've got seven kinds of sauces, Sam. We've got sweet chili, hickory bourbon, barbecue. Great wings don't just fall from the sky. They come from Louis, where we're preparing food fresh daily. Garlic parmesan, ghost pepper. Drop them whenever you're ready. People love them with our world-famous burgers and pizzas. Okay, stand by for a drop-off. Over. At Louis, we're in your neighborhood. And welcome back to Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath and joining us right now, Dr. Michael Padilla of Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center in Norman. Dr. Padilla, thank you for being with us again. We've had a lot of fun talking about, you know, all the things throughout football and, and some of basketball. You know, and one of the biggest things happening in basketball right now is arguably the biggest star, LeBron James, has suffered a groin injury and has been out for about 10 days now. Mm -hmm. And... They don't really know when he's coming. And so I'd like you to talk a little bit about the groin injury and why 
there's not really a set timetable on it. Um, yeah, so um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm originally from California, so this kid still kind of hits a little bit home, close to home for me. I'm, I grew up a Lakers fan. Um, I was watching that Thunder Lakers game. I feel game. sorry for yeah. you, Dr. Padilla. I was, I was, uh, I was uh, watching the Thunder Lakers game the other day, and I was a little conflicted because, you know, I'm a Thunder fan now yeah. as well, you know, so when they play each other, I'm like, I'm not really sure how I feel about when, yeah, you know, I guess it's a win-win, but it's yeah. still it, it's still hard for me to, be, to separate they, those if emotions. If they find them in the yeah. Western Conference Finals, that'd yeah, be good. Yeah, yeah, it'd be, it'd be good. I, I don't know. I probably won't watch, actually. Yeah. So, um, so to answer your question, you know, um, a groin strain or an adductor strain, um, the adductor muscular group is, is, is basically the mus muscular group that's uh, involved um, uh, in the injury. It's a muscular injury, so that's why it's so unpredictable. And like any other muscular injury, it's graded on a one to three scale. Grade one is, uh, you know, a stretching, uh, structurally everything's intact. Grade two is, you know, partial tearing, but again, stru structurally everything's intact. And grade three is complete, a complete tear. Um, no, and, is that away from the bone? Uh, well, it, it can involve the bone, yeah. and so you can get x-rays to make sure that the adductor muscle group didn't pull off of um, pull off of its insertion where it right. inserts on the pelvis, and usually you'll see a fleck of bone or a small fracture if that's the case, and then MRI also helps to, to diagnose that as well. Now, it's really hard to, 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 to sew muscle back to itself. Now, you can, you can sew the, the covering of the muscle, which is called fascia. That can, that can be uh, repaired, although there's not a whole lot of, a lot of literature support surgical intervention for this type of injury unless it pulls off of the bone where it attaches. And so that's the role of the x-ray, the role of the MRI. It's so unpredictable because it's a muscular injury, and, and um, uh, like any other muscular injury, those are hard to predict when they're going to get better. It's all based on the symptoms. Uh, now, grade one and grade two are going to heal faster than grade three. Grade threes may or may not require surgery again, but there's not a whole lot of literature to support um, uh, you know, when to repair these, if they're repairable, and how long they're going to take to, to, to get back. So I think that's why there's such a vague... You know, when is he going to come back? It's a week. Uh, you know, they take it. It's a day by day injury, day to day injury, really, um, because he may wake up, feel great, and then he goes out there and pushes it a little bit, um, and the symptoms return. So, treatment for it: um, shut him down, rest, um, uh, uh, anti-inflammatory medications, ice, um, and then once the symptoms improve, pain improves, then you start to stretch and then get to more sports specific activity, and you just watch for the symptoms. If they if they stay away, he's pain free then he gets, he gets back to play. So that can be another week, can be another two weeks, it's hard to say. So parents, athletes, listen to Dr. Padilla. If, if you're having groin problems, you know, take your time. Make sure it's healed because it has a high propensity for re-injury. So take your time, do what Dr. Padilla says, and make sure you're well before you start back in because right. it could be a bigger problem if you do it again twice. Dr. Michael Padilla, an orthopedic and sports medicine center in Norman, over 10 clinics throughout the state. If you're looking for help with orthopedic problems, call Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center here in Norman. They will direct you to the closest clinic. Dr. Padilla, thank you very much. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you guys. Thank you. If your New Year's resolution is to look and feel better this coming year, Dr. Victoria Johnson at Laser Light Skin Clinic offers specific treatments to noticeably improve your appearance and self-esteem. Call Laser Light today to schedule your free consultation. I'm Attorney Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law. Over the past 20 years, we have fought for Oklahomans who have been injured by medical malpractice and medical device injuries. These injuries are caused by products including defective hip implants, transvaginal mesh implants, Zofran, Zeralto, Invokana, and IVC filters. Unfortunately, these type of injuries happen every day, and it's good to have a local expert to turn to for help. On behalf of myself and the entire McIntyre Law team, I can assure you, no one will work harder than we will. Maddie McMillan's Irish Pub, now open at 150th and Penn, featuring traditional Irish favorites and a, with a modern twist. Maddie's is a pub-inspired eatery, features nearly 30 Irish and American whiskeys and scotches, as well as beers, cocktails like the Guinness Float Ice Cream and Guinness, or Eden's Apple Hard Cider and Guinness. Maddie McMillan's hosts kegs and eggs brunch every Saturday and Sunday and is sure to be the perfect hangover cure. The brunch features omelet bar, Bloody Mary station, along with $2 mimosas and $13 mimosas carafes. Grab your friends and hang out at Marty McMillan's on 150th and North Penn. Come in, Sam, it's Jack Elliott. Do you read me over? Hey, guys. I'm up here with BK. We got your wings. 
Right on time. I hope you brought us some sauce, too. We've got seven kinds of sauces, Sam. We've got sweet chili, hickory bourbon, barbecue. Great wings don't just fall from the sky. They come from Louis, where we're preparing food fresh daily. Garlic parmesan, ghost pepper. Drop them whenever you're ready. People love them with our world-famous burgers and pizzas. OK, stand by for a drop-off. Over. At Louis, we're in your neighborhood. I'm attorney Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law. Over the past 20 years, we have fought for Oklahomans who have been injured by medical malpractice and medical device injuries. These injuries are caused by products including defective hip implants, transvaginal mesh implants, Zofran, Zeralto, Invocana, and IVC filters. Unfortunately, these type of injuries happen every day, and it's good to have a local expert to turn to for help. On behalf of myself and the entire McIntyre Law team, I can assure you, no one will work harder than we will. Matty McMillan's Irish Pub, now open at 150th and Penn, featuring traditional Irish favorites and a, with a modern twist. Matty's is a pub-inspired eatery, features nearly 30 Irish and American whiskeys and scotches, as well as beers, cocktails like the Guinness Float Ice Cream and Guinness, or Eden's Apple Hard Cider and Guinness. Matty McMillan's hosts kegs and eggs brunch every Saturday and Sunday and is sure to be the perfect hangover cure. The brunch features omelet bar, Bloody Mary station, along with $2 mimosas and $13 mimosas carafes. Grab your friends and hang out at Marty McMillan's on 150th and North Penn. Come in, Sam, it's Jack Elliott. Do you read me over? Hey, guys. I'm up here with BK. We've got your wings. Right on time. I hope you brought us some sauce, too. We've got seven kinds of sauces, Sam. We've got sweet chili, hickory bourbon, barbecue. Great wings don't just fall from the sky. They come from Louis, where we're preparing food fresh daily. Garlic parmesan, ghost pepper. Drop them whenever you're ready. People love them with our world-famous burgers and pizzas. OK, stand by for a drop-off. Over. At Louis, we're in your neighborhood. And welcome back to Thunder Weekly. I want to take this opportunity to thank some wonderful sponsors of the Thunder Weekly. The Trails Golf Club in Norman, a great place to play golf. If you're looking for a place for 2019 for you, your family, what, your company, whatever, they have lots of options for memberships at Trails Golf Club in Norman. If you're looking for that great place for you and your family or you and your company and, and your employees, Give Kathy Hess a call, 364-3790, and find out the membership specials and membership options at the Trails Golf Club, a championship course with a great family-friendly atmosphere. Also, Sooner CrossFit. Sooner CrossFit, if you're looking to get in the best shape of your life and you need a place that is right for you, it feels right, and you can work out and get in the best shape of your life, Sooner CrossFit is where you need to go. Go to SoonerCrossFit.com to find out more information how you can get in the best shape of your life. Brown Shoe Fit Company in Norman. Men's, women, and children's shoes, the latest styles and fashion. Ladies, winter boots are there and they have the best selection and styles. And men, if you're needing winter boots or just good casual footwear and all the top styles, go to Brown Shoe Fit next to Hobby Lobby in Norman and they will take care of you. Now, Jeremy, you know, we talked about where we think the Thunder are in the Western Conference, okay? Let's pull back and take a look at the entire Western Conference and look at how they're playing, how we think they're going to finish. I mean, we're not even to the halfway point of the NBA season, and we already have some idea of how teams are playing. Golden State is still Golden State. Um, they're playing, you know, as well as they they have been all year right now with everybody playing. But there's still some, you can see, flaws. You know, this not the cohesive machine that it's been in the past. You know, Kevin Durant and, and Draymond are not going to play well together. And that's just the way it's going to be for the rest of the year. It's not going to magically change. Draymond hates KD. He thinks he's an interloper. KD thinks... You know, he, he's not getting the respect from Draymond. So that's going to be a problem the rest of the year. KD don't go to a 73 win team, first of all. But then second of all, you're right. And, and the big thing about the Warriors that I'm interested in is Draymond's play this year is three-point shooting percentage. Everything is drastically dropped. And so it'll be interesting to see how it affects the Warriors. But at the end of the day, the Warriors are the team to be. Well, sure. They still got Steph who's yeah. shooting lights yeah. out and, and Clay Thompson who can go off for – 12, 14 threes a game, which we've seen, unfortunately, yep. here up close. Um, 
you know, and, and, and nobody's even talking about Boogie yet, you know. Mm. Boogie, Boogie's coming back at some point the rest of the year. Now, that may or may not, you know, it may take him a while, but they're looking just to get him ready for the playoffs. So I look for the last eight games maybe of the year. They start integrating him into the, into the flow and see how he does. And he's a – people forget how well-rounded – Boogie Cousins' game is. I mean, rebounding defense. I've seen him dribble the entire length of the court, go behind his back, go between his legs, finish at the rim with a dunk, you know, and go through five or six players. And he can shoot the three. And he can shoot the three. So, you know, that's not what they actually need him for, but he can if, if needed. So that's a question mark we got to answer. Um, the second, you know, Houston Rockets, man, they were horrible for a while. And now they're playing lights out even without Chris Paul. I, I get that, but I don't think it's sustainable. Harden's bearing such a load right now. It reminds me of Russ the year after we lost KD and just the grind it took over him over a season. So if Harden continues to do this, I don't see it translating into the playoffs. That The defense is tied up, and right now he's carrying such a tremendous load on that team. I don't know that it's sustainable. But they get Chris Paul back, so you never you know. You never know. So they're trending up. But I, I love one of the things, I don't know if everybody saw that, but – the other night when uh, Steph got called for a travel. Oh, yes. And he yes. goes, one, three. He's going, you're calling me for a travel? And they were playing the Rockets. And and Harden gets, he gets four and five steps. Uh, <laughs> Each time. And I, they got to start calling that. But that's just yeah, my own pet peeve. I agree. Um, second, the surprising team in the West, Nuggets. Denver Nuggets. Yeah. I mean, they're playing really well. They had the best record. And they've done it without Paul Millsap. Yeah. And, that, and they're getting him back. So. Um, I'll be interested to see again. That's a younger team, and how the grind of the season takes effect on them. So it'll be interesting. Tough to matchup for the Thunder. It I is. mean, you know, that's that's when they got a great center, and he's the one of the few centers that gives Stephen Adams problems. Yeah. Jokic and Nurkic both. Yeah, and the, the, the Portland team. center the other day, yeah. and 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 then um, uh, the, the the Denver center. Those are good. So those are top three teams. You've got Golden State, Denver, Thunder. Or up and comers, Houston. Mm -hmm. um, some of the surprises, you know, though, are Utah. They're not playing very no. well. On the other hand, on the other hand, San Antonio, who oh, uh, who the Thunder played this week, um, are playing really, really yeah. well yeah. now. I mean, you, you know, when they weren't playing well, you got, oh wow, what happened to you know what happened to the Spurs? Mm -hmm. Well, hey, Popovich is not good. Now. He's too good a coach. Proved it for too many years. Yeah. I mean, I don't care how many. Guys are out. Who you got? He's going to make those guys play better than they look mm -hmm. and better than total, some of their parts, and he's doing that yeah, this year. Yeah, absolutely. San Antonio is going to be tough. Um, you know, I, I'm interested in the Lakers without LeBron. I mean, you, you fall too far behind in the West right now. You're in trouble. Well, all, all they need to do, the Lakers, is get LeBron healthy yeah. and get in the playoffs. Yeah. And you know, then you'll see what LeBron does. Yeah. You know, and, and so I'd love to see LeBron and Golden State in the first round. Oh, Bingo! Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. I would love that. So anyway, it's going to be interesting to see how the rest of the year, that rest of the week and all that goes. But uh, it's, it's fun. Jeremy Thurman take, taking the shot here with us. I appreciate you on Thunder Weekly. We'll see you next week for Jeremy, for Noble McIntyre. I'm Ricky. We'll see you next time on Thunder Weekly.